What's going on everybody? Sonar here and this is the Lance 975 review. This is actually part two of a two-part series of the Lance review. The first one I ended up uh, reviewing the outside of my Lance 975. This is a 2017 model and then this one we're going to go inside. And of course this is the 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 redo of my original review which uh, you know I showed a little bit too much of my face and not enough of the camper. So I was listening to you guys and uh, wanted to redo this especially since I've lived in it for for almost a year now so let's hop inside and review the inside of this Lance 975 all right so the first thing that I want to talk about is the fact that I'm a, a big proponent of, of as much storage opportunities as humanly possible and the 975 has some great features including this right here this is a, a big, long storage um, storage drawer. Comes out fairly far. I, th I think it's like four and a half feet or so. Um, and so I can store a lot of tackle boxes in there, and that's what I primarily use that for, and just extra stuff. But it'd be great for, you know, uh, uh, fly rods broken down and and. Uh, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Shoes, this would be a great shoe drawer if you didn't have another use for it. But uh, I love that drawer, really good. Speaking of drawers, we got another drawer right here, which is actually a trash can, designed to be a trash can, but I don't use it as a trash can because uh, I use it for cleaning supplies and things that I need quick draw, like my flying insect killer. Put that in there because uh, you never know when you're gonna find a hornet's nest. In fact, I got stung by a wasp just two days ago in my battery compartment. So that's why I carry the big guns. Anyway, so you can see with, with all the drawers in the Lance 975, you've got the soft close drawers so they, uh, they never slam. Uh, as you walk in, you've got your, your key hooks here. You've got different external lights, um, internal lights as well. That one controls kind of the main galley here. You can see right there. Um, so you got all that and then of course you got your slide uh, switch right here the slide remote fire extinguisher safety first let's walk inside all right so I've said before I had not cleaned this for this video I want you guys to see it how I, I live in it um, you know and how functional it is and it really truly is very functional let's talk about the uh, the um, the sink and kitchen area here. Um, the one thing, there's only a, a handful of things that I wish that, that this camper had different and the, this sink is, is one of them. I don't like the two partitioned uh, smaller sinks. Uh, I'd like just one big one. The good news is if you go to buy a new Lance 975, they've got that one big sink. So that has changed in newer models. So uh, when I go to buy another Lance 975, I'm gonna be really happy with that change. Uh, but you've got you've got a decent amount of counter space in here. You've got these nice windows, the of course the uh, the frameless windows. Uh, I've got enough space to, to keep my Keurig, uh, Instapot. Um, these are just some CDs. I usually don't put them there. We'll put them over here for now. Um, but uh, yeah, lots lots of space here. I mean, it's 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 not like cooking at home, but it's it's uh, it's still got quite a bit of space for for a truck camper. Of course, you got the three burner uh, stove here, uh, including a, a high output one, and then it, it, you got the oven, which I just use for storage because I'm not baking a whole lot i'm actually using this puppy right here this this high-tech uh cooking machine right here the microwave use that for uh most of my um my cooking opportunities uh we've got the fan we've got the light uh, and lots of lots of lots of storage opportunities in here um you've got this little uh pantry here that little shelf um you got some storage down here Okay, quite a bit actually under here. That's that's kind of the bulk of my storage. You've got two drawers right here. I, I put an extra trash can in here because that trash can that they, they have in here just isn't big enough for anybody. Um, but uh, yeah, you got the soft touch drawers that kind of come out at an angle there, there. So those are nice. Um, this is a really small little 
uh, storage cubby, um, only big enough. I mean, what you see there is, is all you can really fit in there. Um, but it's nice to have it for sure. What is that? Ew, that's gross. I don't know what that was. Uh, but anyways, moving on to this right here. I really like this. I've, I've talked to people that don't really like this uh, and would just rather have shelves here. But I really like this thing. It comes out like that. I can still store things on the side of it and it really doesn't affect this. You can you can customize where you put these little baskets and things like that, but I I mean for one person I think it holds quite a bit. So I like that. Um while we're in the kitchen area, let's talk about uh the we've got the solar panel control here. You've got a little USB plug. I've never used that because there's nothing to put anything on, you know, my phone will just be dangling, but it's cool to have something extra there. Uh, it shows you exactly what your voltage is. That's that's really cool. Over here, you've got the uh, the entertainment system. Okay, it plays DVDs, CDs. You got radio. You got Bluetooth. My Bluetooth doesn't work too well on this one. Um, it's kind of spotty, but but as far as the CDs, the DVDs all that stuff, it works really good. And then you got your, your speaker control. You got the, the A, B, and C speaker um, areas. C is outside. Uh, B is actually up front over the bed. Uh, and A is right here uh, above the dinette in the living area. So you can choose the different quadrants or all of them, um, wh whatever you wanna do. And so it's really cool to have this around system. Uh, when you put in a DVD or a CD, your TV will turn on. This TV is really cool because it kinda rotates anywhere you want. It, uh, if you're laying in bed because of the surround sound up there, you don't have to worry about having the AC on and not hearing the TV, which is really, really cool. But uh, the TV works very, very well. Um, and uh, so pretty, pretty darn cool. Uh, and it's all controlled through the uh, through the, the sound system there. All right. Let's turn around and look at the Super Slide here. Super Slide is, is really um, one of the biggest selling points of this camper. You've got a lot of space in here. To answer one question that I get a lot, when the slide is in, you can't access anything but right here in the kitchen area because the slide actually will come to right here close to the to this, this little storage and, and a TV cubby. So, when you're when it's slid in it's really not inhabitable at all but uh but you know that's just the the nature of the beast having a truck camper like this so um and when it's out you've got plenty of space i mean you can have an extra person extra dude sleeping right here because that's what we do we just sleep in random places um and then you've got the the dinette here this actually will fold down i'm not going to do it right now because i got all my my media stuff and this coffee which i need to drink That does a body good. Um, but you, that folds down. Of course, these cushions create a bed. Um, and uh, you got the drawers that I talked about. The storage drawers right there. Those are really nice. Um, on both sides, I put socks and hats and stuff in there because I got a ridiculous amount of hats. Uh, and so overall, uh, you know, the, the dinette is very functional. I end up putting this cushion right here so I can kind of lounge back, lean my back up against the, the, um, uh, the wall here and watch some TV. That seems to work pretty good for me. And I just utilize the space while I'm alone to, uh, to, you know, have my little, uh, laundry bag, um, all my media stuff and things like that. And I end up putting some stuff underneath here, like the, uh, my shoes, some of my shoes, um, that little Ryobi wet dry vac is a lifesaver. That thing is awesome. If you're looking for a really good wet dry vac on the road, that little, uh, wireless, um, battery powered Ryobi kills it. It is awesome. Love it. See my extra tufts Yeti cooler over there. Let's move on over to the uh, refrigerator. We got nice space in the freezer. You see all my, my uh, wonderful frozen dinners. In here, we've got a lot of space as well in, this, in the refrigerator side. Uh, more space than I need. 
personally. Of course, I didn't buy enough snacks. So let's look at the, the roof here. Um, this right here is the, uh, the, the um, antenna booster. Turn that on. In a lot of areas, I've been able to, to, to get uh, TV reception from local channels. Uh, here, I don't have that opportunity, but um, some places you, you win, some places you, you fall short. Uh, this right here is the, the satellite dish. D have never used it. Uh, uh, one day, I'd like to actually use that. Um, and and get a subscription to Dish Network or something. I think it's Dish that uh, that that uh, Dish works with. Um, AC up here. AC is just cold as can be when you want it to. Um, this right here, uh, this thermostat controls everything from the heat to the the AC to just running the fan in the AC. All that good stuff is controlled right there. Very easy. All right, so this is really cool. I love this thing. This right here is a, uh, a, a, a skylight here. This will completely open so you can actually <laughs> go stand up, drink your coffee, whatever, and just kind of uh, periscope around and look, look, see what's going on outside. Um, and also inspect your roof, which I really like. So it opens up. And if you do have it open, if you do have it open, it has a screen right there, as well as the blind. So it can get pretty dark in here, but we'll keep that open for now. Um, back here, you can see there's the wardrobe. You can hang up all your clothes. It's a little bit tight. So the doors really, if it's full, the doors aren't gonna completely close, um, but that's okay. You got some storage space up here. Uh, you got the, the light switch for the, the accent lighting over there. Um, got some extra lights like this one right here. Uh, there is a little cubby over there. You can see that little hatch that opens up. It's pretty shallow. It's like, you know, maybe six inches deep. Um, over there, you've got another drawer, which is really nice, soft touch drawer. And then that, of course, this right here is some extra storage. This is where I keep my pants, my shirts, towels and underwear and such. Yeah, you guys are getting a, a real in-depth view into my life. Uh, and uh, right here, no need to, to make the bed. Why would you make the bed? God, I'm a dude, I don't make beds. Uh, as you can see, I don't. I did not make that bed. Really comfortable. This is a queen size bed. It's 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 a Serta, so that's really nice. I've I know a lot of guys that put a mattress pad on top of it to make it even more comfortable, but I really like it. It's really enjoyable. Right here, you got a little curtain there for sound reduction and privacy. Not that you're gonna need privacy in this thing. All right, so now let's go into the bathroom. Oh, jeez, scared me for a second there. So this one right here was the the uh, selling point for my wife. Um, I was looking at a, a wet bath model, but my wife, Katie, she wanted a dry bath and she saw this and she's just like this, we have to have this, this type of, of bathroom in a camper. And I was like, okay, so we got this and I'm so glad that she, she insisted on it because it really is a lot better having the dry bath. You got plenty of space in here. Of course, everybody mentions that there's a tub there. I don't know who on earth could fit in that tub, but it is nice having, you know, a tub that you can wash your dog in or something. Um, but, but as far as the shower goes, very functional. You've got, you've got a lot of space in here, a lot of headroom. I'm six two. I fit perfectly in there. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's just a great showering experience. I don't know why people would use the camp showers. I dig it. And of course you got this, this feature right here that creates a little bit more space for the shower curtain and all that. You got this beautiful mirror that you can see me in right now. But the great thing about this, uh, one of the other great things about this bathroom is the fact that you've got so much counter space. There's not a whole lot of, of campers out there. The 1172 has the same exact layout in the bathroom and uh, and the 975. So those are the only two that have the, uh, the this size bathroom. And I absolutely love it. Got a little bit of uh, storage under here, okay. That's my wife's drawer pretty much. And then you got storage up here, which you can see is plainly my storage because it's uh, a mess. But yeah, that right there is pretty much the interior of the Lance 975. 
All right, guys. So that wraps up my review of the Lance 975. This is uh, this is the 2017 model. Not a whole lot of difference. There's a few little uh, component differences in the the newer Lance 975s and and like this 2017. But overall. It has been a game changer. This thing is just amazing to, to be able to travel, have, be self-contained, and just and just the, the places that you can go in a Trek camper are, are unmatched with any other type of, of camper. So overall, I love the Lance 975. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, of course, comment below. And if you have any uh, in, comments and questions, of course, comment below. And then subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Really, really appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys out on the road and out on the water.